What's up, hungry people? Let the good times roll this Mardi Gras with a twist on a Louisiana classic, the Po' Boy Pizza. With a creamy Cajun remoulade sauce and topped with Creole breaded shrimp, this pizza embraces all the best flavors of Nolens. We'll start by making a simple remoulade inspired pizza sauce, starting with mayonnaise, roasted red peppers, minced garlic, diced sweet onion, creamy horseradish, ketchup, whole grain mustard, fresh thyme, fresh dill, Cajun seasoning, Worcester sauce, Louisiana hot sauce, and white pepper. Mix it all together until it's properly blended. You'll definitely have leftover remoulade to use on other Creole dishes, so refrigerate whatever you don't use in this recipe for another time. Next up, grab some freshly peeled and detailed shrimp and drizzle on enough olive oil for an even coating. Season with Cajun spices, sea salt, and white pepper. Toss in the flour and stir it all together until a thick breading forms around the shrimp. If the mixture is too dry, add a small amount of olive oil to help it come together. The shrimp shouldn't stick together much when properly coated. Next, grab some fresh pizza dough. I have mine on a wooden pizza paddle dusted with cornmeal. Brush the dough lightly with garlic butter all the way to the edges. Then take the remoulade and spread on a few tablespoons in an even layer around the center of the dough, leaving the edges for a nice crust. Arrange the breaded shrimp across the top of the pizza. I also topped my pizza with zucchini, some thinly sliced red onion, finely diced sweet onion, and some capers for a burst of saltiness. Next, add fresh mozzarella slices to the pizza, followed by a light sprinkling of Parmesan cheese. Bake the pizza at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes until the crust is golden brown and the shrimp are cooked through. Give the pizza a final dash of Louisiana hot sauce and then some fresh dill for garnish. I love pizza of any kind, but I especially love pizza when they are combined with crazy toppings like this po' boy special. It's a unique take on a Nolan's classic. Just in time for Mardi Gras. What's your favorite Mardi Gras inspired recipe? Tell me about it or what recipe you think I should make next in the comments down below. If you want to help support my channel, check out the Teespring link in the description for some of my custom t-shirts and merch. If you buy something from my shop, you're helping to buy ingredients, camera upgrades, and more. Every little bit of your support helps. Don't forget to flip that sub button and ring the dinner bell to be notified of my latest recipes and foodie adventures that I post every week. For more recipes with step-by-step -step instructions, check out the starvingchefblog.com. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon.